this is another part for shame. You know, we have seen, all of us, we have seen people around us, friends, family members, or we heard, but let's talk about friends and family members, that they work so hard. Now they got to a place that they can afford things because they built businesses or they retired with a lot of money. And you can see that they don't work that much anymore and they supposedly, they try to rest. They have a vacation house, perhaps they have RV. I've seen some. But when you're around them, they are not truly resting. You know why? Because that accomplishment covered their shame. And when the shame is covered, we could rest, but we could only rest in the surface. You know who can rest in the depth? Those whose shame was removed by God. Do you remember what the Bible said? Paul said that we may experience and know the depth and the height and the width of his love. You know how we can truly understand the depth of the love of Jesus? When he goes to our depth and removes our shame, then it doesn't matter if we can afford to have a vacation house or we have no house. In both cases, like Paul said, he was content in plenty and lack. In both cases, his shame was removed by Jesus Christ. Then, of course, to be wealthy is awesome. And not to have money, it's fine too, as long as our shame is removed by Christ then if we truly crave deep rest, it only comes when the Lord Jesus removes our shame in plenty or in lack. I have seen people in Turkey that they have almost nothing. But for me, there is there was this particular person to be in his presence for 30 minutes. That was the highlight of my trip to Turkey, now we are friends. Every time I listen to that man, Lord God, really, he has nothing. That's amazing. Remove our shame, beautiful Jesus, that we may experience and know the depth and the height and the width of your love. <laughs>